This week, Sephra makes a new friend, Diane falls off her new bike, Randy finds an exercise trail, all this and more as Zephyr Travel goes to Letchworth State Park to see the fall colors. All right, come on, let's go for a ride. Come on. Come on. Come on, get in the truck. Get in there. Go on. Good. So where are we off to? I don't know. I'm going for a ride. <laughs> Go for a ride. Yeah. Check out the leaves. A little exploring, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check out, see the colors of the leaves. Monty, we're going to check out the leaves. <laughs> He's ready. That's right. We're at Letchworth and we're going to Check out the fall colors. So we're hiking to the Lower Falls. It's lower Falls? Yeah, Lower Falls. Yep. My dogs are really shy until we walk away and then they're like, oh, damn it, I would have wanted a hug too. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, you don't want to pet a ham. She was almost going to be willing too. Yeah. Oh, Lower Falls Trail. This doorway with 127 steps provides a view of the Lower Falls River, Fume, and footbridge to the east side of the park. Or you can take the easy view, which is a thousand feet that direction. If you take the Lower Falls view, be sure not to feed wildlife, climb on gorge walls or banks, swim in the river, or build brown fires. Please leave their park rules posted in the comfort station. Did you get all that, Monty? No, I got a long way to go down. I think I must be getting older. These steps weren't as treacherous before.
Lower Falls. Lower Falls, yep. It's turned out to be a beautiful day. It's sunny. Yeah. And blue sky. Yep. So it's supposed to be a nice afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, and this is the smaller of the three waterfalls along the Genesee River through Letchworth Park. This is a nice little hike, not too far. A lot of steps though. Yeah. Keep that in mind if you're going to take this hike, but the end result is definitely worth it. Yeah. 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 Bounty, you got to stay on the other side of the cuts. Good boy. Well, Monty, we made it back to the truck. Go on, go on, get in there. You too, go. Well, good morning. It is a nice kind of cool morning this, this morning here at Letchworth. And Monty, Zephyr, and I are all out for our walk. We've walked th um, from our campsite all the way out to the main entrance. If you can see behind me, that's the registration building that's right at the main entrance. And we wanted to walk back and show you some of the things that you can see along this uh, trail going into the camp campground. Now the campground is actually almost a mile back from the registration office, so we had a pretty good walk this morning. The sun is just coming up and it's lighting up the leaves on the trees and making it look very scenic. thought we'd like to share that with you. So Letchworth is one of the larger state parks in New York State. There's four entrances into the state park and the campground is near the Perry entrance but you can get to the campground from any entrance because there's a main road running through the center of the park. The park has three waterfalls. There's the upper falls near the Glen Iris Inn which is which is pretty nice because there's a, a, a railroad trussle bridge in the background it's very photogenic. Just down from that, there's the Middle Falls, and then there's the Lower Falls where we hiked yesterday. So there's one nice thing about this hot park is there's a lot of hiking. Um, I think there's something like 20 um, groomed hiking trails throughout the park. And what we hiked on yesterday really wasn't technically a hiking trail. It was really just a path to the uh, Lower Falls. We just took it from the longer parking lot, the farther away parking lot, made a nice little hike out of it. Ended up being about two and a half miles of walking. and. 127 stairs. So that was that was a nice walk yesterday. I know the dogs were pretty tired by the time we got done with that. But I wanted to show you this. This is really cool. I noticed this when we drove in. This is the fitness trail. And basically, there's 20 different stages. And each stage has a different exercise that you would do. And then you walk or jog to the next stage. And they give you the distance that, between stages and everything. My guess is the total distance on the whole uh, fitness trail is probably about a mile. And the fitness trail covers at least half of that and it's doubled. It's down and back. So we'll show you some of the stages. We'll walk along and show you some of the stages. I don't know if these guys are going to do any fitness stuff. but And I probably not either. My fitness is the walk this morning. Okay, so behind me here is stage one. And the exercise here is arm swings. And so you would stand in this area right here, which looks to be uh, mulch, and you're supposed to do 10 arm swings. And they, sh they demonstrate the exercise in the picture there. And then you move on to stage two, and that's 196 yards to stage two. So I thought that was kind of neat. Now I'll take you over here and show you stage 20, which is just across the road on the return trip. So this is stage 20, and this is balance beam. And if you can see down here on the ground, there's um, some beams, essentially, um, laying on the ground. They're actually supported on posts, and the idea is you're supposed to walk them. And you're supposed to do that six times. Here's another one of the exercise stations that's a little bit interesting. You can see here, this is the hand walk, and so you've got two parallel beams right here. and the idea of this station is 
to walk across those beams on your hand. So that'd be challenging for the kids and for mom and dad. I was trying to figure out what the exercise was for this one, but it's called jump up. So basically you grab on the bar and you push yourself up so that your arms are straight, holding yourself in a swinging position. One of the hidden exercises on the fitness loop is the dump station. Actually, it's not really an exercise, but it is really a dump station. I think I found my favorite exercise on the fitness trail right here. I think I'll just stop and do it for a few minutes. Decker. You good girl. Monty, don't you want to sit? You go dogs, you're good dogs. Oh, there you go. You're getting into this fitness thing, huh? There, there we go. We're all taking a rest. Good guys. But I think we should continue our walk. Let's go. So I could see where this fitness challenge could be a fun family activity. Probably the more competitive families could actually challenge each other and, and uh, into a little bit of a race and do the whole fitness challenge. It looks pretty cool. And I think it'd be a fun thing to do on a you know, afternoon when you've got the family all here camping and you're looking for that little bit of an adventure to enjoy as a group. Well, we're finishing our walk back here at the Airstream. Time to get ready for whatever adventure today offers. So, hope you enjoyed the walk. We'll catch up with you again real soon. So today we're off on a rather, well, it could be a quite a long bike ride. <laughs> we're going to ride to the Upper Falls in Letchworth State Park. And Randy thinks it's about seven miles one way. So we'll see how far we make it. Hopefully we can make it there. Yeah, it's a little hilly and such, but it should be pretty scenic, you know, ride and all, so. Yeah. yeah. Should be fun. Yeah, so, um, so come along and see how we do. Yeah, see if we make it or not. Right. let everybody know that I am okay after my tumble on my bicycle. We're at the halfway point of our journey, and this is the Upper Falls. 
the Upper Falls and Letchworth State Park. Yeah. And so it really didn't take us that long. We left the trailer about 11, before 11.30, a little bit before 11.30, and it's not quite 12.30. And how far did you say we rode? It's 12.6 miles is what it shows on my bike. So, so longer than we saw. You had said some, about hmm. seven or eight miles. Right. Yeah, it was definitely longer than that. And you said the park is how long? 17 miles long. So we're only five miles short of the whole park. Yeah. So, yeah, and it, we're, well, I probably use more power on the bike than Randy. Yeah. He is, young, he is younger than I am. Yeah. Not that someone had a birthday today or anything. Oh. <laughs> is, it, is it today? <laughs> oh, my goodness. No. So I had an excuse. There you go. But it was a good ride. Well, it's only half done. Well, we have the other half to go here. I know, but we can, uh, you know, sit and rest and have some of our, um, what, pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread, yeah. yeah. Our chocolate chip pumpkin bread. Right, our snack. Yeah. So we'll do that and get something to drink and walk around a little bit. All right. Look at the falls. There's a picnic table over there. This is the Upper Falls, right behind us there. This was our destination for today. Yep. It was a nice ride. It didn't really take too long. No. And, um, more beautiful scenery. I really yep. think we missed the peak. Probably. A lot of oranges and yellows, not many reds. Right. So I think maybe we um, missed it by maybe a week or so. Okay, a week? Yeah, probably. Yeah. But still beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Well, better better be just past the peak, I guess, than too soon. Right. Well, dear, our stay here at Letchworth has come to an end. Yep, we decided to go home today instead of tomorrow. As we were finishing our bike ride, we, the weather has kind of turned cloudy, dark clouds, and windy, and we heard it's supposed to rain. Yeah, so, so instead of packing up and, you know, in a rainy morning tomorrow, we figured, well, we might as well just head home tonight, and, you know, we really were just going to take off early in the morning anyway, so we're not really missing out on anything except the evening, so. Yeah, so that's about it. So. Yeah. No, we decided to take off and head home. Yeah. So, how would you rate Letchworth compared to some of the other parks we've stayed at for someone who hasn't been here? Um, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, they we didn't do any, but they appeared to have a lot of hiking trails. We did the one hike. I mean, it really wasn't a hiking trail, but it was down to the... We took the longer hike to the uh, lower falls. Yeah, that's true with the dogs. And we all did. the stairs. Yes, how many were there? 100, 127. 127 stairs. Well, we're probably at the uh, kind of towards the end of the peak season for the fall colors of the leaves. Yep. And right now with the wind. Yeah, I think the wind's doing in the last of the leaves. Yeah, they're, um, you know, <laughs> the, the trees will be bare pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> so. So yeah, so we decided to stay home. But it is a very nice park. Um, if you have kids, there's a lot of different playgrounds for them. Yeah. And I don't know about this past summer, but in other summers they do have a swimming pool and they do have recreation buildings, have a lot of different things you can do. Yeah. They also in the summer have rafting along yeah. the Genesee River. and. Uh, they do have gift shops and yeah. snack shops. Yeah, and restaurants. The, right. 
restaurants and they do have a visitor center and there's also a nice restaurant we've never eaten there but called the Glen Iris Inn and that seemed very busy today yeah and uh, there's also a museum here so there yeah there's a lot to do yeah a lot of scenic overlooks um, just yeah there's just a lot of stuff here that you can do while you're here right and like Diane says a lot of nice hiking trails that you could take advantage of right I think there's something like 20 different marked trails throughout the park and the camping here is very nice they do offer pet loops and no pet loops yep the pet loops there's a here's a tip if you come here the better campsites are in the pet loops you know don't let everyone know that though but we've noticed that we went through all the camp sites and the pet loops seem to have better ones and the restrooms are all just been recently refurbished right and the sites are bigger yep and uh yeah the the pet loops are a lot nicer maybe they're you know they may be in the process of redoing the campground so maybe that's an area that they will be redoing in the near future but uh, like we said it looks like they have pretty new rest uh, rest stations bathrooms showers and each one looked like it was individual yeah yeah the new ones are all individual shower um, areas individual rooms for bathroom and shower right right so, yeah that's nice yeah so that was very nice and they have camping cabins here and they have a motel and right. rooms that they go on there right you can stay there yep. as well so, so you have a lot of options if you come here it's a very popular park so if you come you definitely want to have reservations right and plan in advance because this will fill up especially during the summer probably most weekends are you know are booked for camping so right. you definitely want to plan in advance for that right and if you ever think about coming on Columbus Day, they did cancel this year, but they do have an annual Arts and Crafts Festival on that weekend. And I'm sure that it gets filled up very quickly. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, that is probably one of their busiest weekends, not only for um, camping, but also just for the park in general. A lot of people come in for that craft show. It's huge. And it is a very nice... Um, craft show craft show and sale so you know if you're into that kind of thing which I am um, I tend to drag Randy along with me or you know I get dragged <laughs> yes I do drag him to those sort of things and this uh, camping is not open year-round but this park is open year-round and we've been here in the winter and we actually shot a video last year with the falls with ice but it's really neat to come in here during the winter time and check it out too well if you like this video what should they do please subscribe to our channel hit the bell for notifications give us a thumbs up that way we know that you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't you know right. and leave us a comment below yeah leave us a comment if anything you you know questions or anything you want to say right. we'd love to hear from you right and i guess until our next video which um we got some interesting things coming up for the winter that we will be sharing with you soon. All right, we're going to um, a lot of areas we never have um, been to before. So, so until then, we will see you down the road. See you down the road, guys. Take Bye. care. Bye.